Okay, what I want to show you today is a wheelchair accessible RV. I know this doesn't look like an RV and it doesn't look wheelchair accessible, but that's exactly what it is. See, in 2005, I had this RV custom built and it's on a 2004 chassis and it is a Freightliner Columbia chassis. It starts out like your regular tractor trailer and then they just extend the frame and then build the motorhome onto it. I'll go ahead and go over the outside and the inside. The RV has a great amount of storage. That was the one thing I liked about it, this outside storage. So before we go into any looking at any doors or anything, if we take a look here, any of these storage doors that open, we'll take a look at this one to see what we have in it. We see the size of that storage compartment and then we have a light in each, each storage compartment too. One thing I had put on uh, is an electric awning. The awning you see here that goes across the top we will just open that with the push of a button uh, inside. And you see I've got a 500 uh, watt halogen light there. And then we've got the three lights that go across the top. These are just LED lights. And then the regular man door, for it, which, you know, of course I'm never using this door. And then the hood lifts up with just like your regular truck hood where you lift this and this and hood flips up. Uh, there are fuel tanks on each side of the truck. And uh, I think it's a 100 gallon tank on this side. And we had to shorten the tank on the other side to 60 gallons because uh, the, wheelchair was, the wheelchair lift is mounted into the floor. So here on the outside, we see this part that has an awning above it. This is all a slide out, and this will come out about, uh, I don't know, maybe two feet or so. And if we take a look, it's just a little, little Caterpillar motor on that. Uh, the exhaust is piped into the regular truck exhaust, so when you're running it, the, the exhaust just comes out the regular truck exhaust. Uh, so as we go back through the rest of the truck, you see I had special cat's eye, a thing called cat's eye on these tires, and this balances out the pressure between the two. And as long as there's a wee little eye there, then that tells you you still have 105 pounds in each tire. And uh, then when you do need to put air into them, you're just putting air in one place and it puts the air in, into both of them. And as we come across the back, again, more storage. But as we come across the back, we see a very heavy duty hitch here. This hitch is intended to pull up to a 40,000 pound. So it's built into the, built into the RV and, and uh, pretty much part of the frame. So it'll, it'll hold a lot of weight. And then now let's go ahead and go back over and take a look inside the coach. And many times I'll see a wheelchair door and they put it halfway up there. I don't know what good that does. I guess if, you, if you're traveling with a companion, it's okay. The door comes in here and then I'll open the screen door also. And we just have a, a rope holding the door from going too far open. And then I just keep the wheelchair lift just sitting right inside the door. I'll go ahead and slide back. And the lift is just your regular UVL where you have open and close. So I'm just gonna hit, uh, I'm gonna hit the down button. And when I hit the down, that opens this door here. And then the lift comes out from the bottom. Now, the one thing I wanted with this UVL, UVLs are just known to be problematic, but this one has been zero problems for me. And the reason it's being zero problems is it's enclosed inside the uh, compartment here. And that helps it a lot. So I see I do need to clean this up a little bit. I need to wash and clean the whole RV. It's just a, quite a task. So we'll go ahead and lower this lift down and then I'll step inside it and then you can come in and we'll, uh, so I'll just get onto the lift. So then I only have the one handrail to hold on to. And as I go up, I just make sure the doors open all the way. And then if I'm going to be putting the lift back in, as I go in, I, I release this lever and I let this fold down. And then once I'm in, I would just hit the stow button. And as I hit stow, the lift is going to come in and go back in. If you've ever seen a UVL, this is just the way all the UVLs work. They're not the fastest, but uh, on a cold day, they're even slower. And then the UVL sucks right back into there. And then the next one's going to close. I'm going to lower this floor down here. 
Okay, and then once the door, the UVL is in, I hit door close for the bottom. And then that door sucks in, and then I just set the UVL here. Then I'm going to close this door, and I'm going to open the man door so you can come in and show you this little step that I have, the step cover I have. So then this is our regular able body door entry. And what I did here, because this step is built inside of the floor, I had a, a door cover put on that I could fold down. And this is going to keep me from worrying about not running out of floor. So I'm just going to go ahead and lift this back up. And when I lift it back up, there's a little lever. And if you notice, everything in the coach so far is set so that I could do it. I don't have to have a companion. So go ahead and come on in and we'll take a look at the floor plan. It's just a linoleum floor, not a really high-end floor, and not real high-end cabinets, but they are solid wood oak. And then we're just going to, I'm going to turn on some lights here. And then as you notice, this is the slide out that we saw from the outside. And I'm going to turn, hit this button here. Now I can still get from the front to the rear of this coach with this slide out in. And I'll just go ahead and demonstrate that, you know, just coming right through here. And I'm in a 16 inch wide seat fr uh, frame of the chair. I'm going to turn these other lights on here too. And let's come back up and let's go back through here. All right, I'm going to hit the button here and open up. I had a little cover put on so you didn't accidentally hit the door opener button or the slide button. So we're just going to hit the button there. This is going to be uh, adding a lot more space inside for us. And while we're here, I'm going to lower this floor cover back down. And I'm going to pull this door shut using this rope I have put on here. So we're slowly making more space. Okay, you see what a great more amount of space we have now uh, for you know, the, the uh, space to move around in a wheelchair. I have the floor covered down, the step covered down, so I have a lot more floor space there. Under each of these couches, or I'm sorry, under each of these benches is a uh, pull-out drawer. And uh, here, I'll just open one of these here. So there's plenty of storage there. And then under the couch is also a pull out. And then this is more storage under this couch. And this is called a jackknife bed. So it folds up and then it makes one, one flat bed. Uh, good for a kid to sleep in or something. It's not real long. Okay, what else do we want to take a look at here? Let's take a look at this front here. This is the entertainment center part of it. And all these cabinet doors they have a little push button that you can push and unlock it. And the reason you have to lock it is for when you're going down the road, you don't want you don't want those coming open. So just push and unlock that. And then you see across here, we have those same push buttons on all this cabinet, a big wall of cabinets here. So plenty of storage for, you know, food or whatever. I will say it's not the most accessible. So uh, this is where you do need the able body. You're gonna have to store the stuff you need down lower. <clears throat> so we take a look here at the entertainment center. Inside here is where I can turn on and off the generator. And here's where I could check my different water levels. And then I could turn on the water pump. And I had the heaters put onto some of the tanks so that they wouldn't, if I was going to be in cold weather, they wouldn't freeze. And this, this particular coach has a uh, in motion satellite. So if you're running your generator and you're going down the road, you can watch TV still by having this uh, satellite dish turned on. And that's just your radio, an old DVD player, CD player. And if we look here, we have the controls for the hot water tank to be turned on with via gas, uh, via propane or via electric. And there's a cable input that I'd put in so that I could plug into a uh, cable at a, uh, at a campground. You can see we have a TV up above here. And then if you step back a little bit, I can show you this sleeper. There's a sleeper in here. And... Up there somewhere should be a ladder. 
So if you do have another person here that's going to climb up the ladder, especially a kid, they would love this thing here. There we go. And that ladder locks in there, and then the kids could go up and down that. I'll just slide it off to the side for now. Let me open these curtains. We'll take a quick look at the cab. And uh, the way that I get into the, into the uh, driver's seat is I just pop my chair up over this carpet. Then I'm in between, my wheelchair is in between the two seats. And then I just fold the armrest up and I transfer over into the driver's seat. I have Monarch hand controls on the, on the uh, truck. The truck has about 214,000 miles. You can see all the controls there in the dash for the driver. Let's go back and take a look at the rest of this uh, living area. So as we go back through, we've got a sink here. This folds out and, and then there's a stainless steel sink inside there. And the sink. This is a stove and then the stove top, or I'm sorry, this is an oven. And then the so stove top is up under here folding that up and then we have the microwave up above if I was doing it again I would definitely put this microwave where the stove is and then not have a stove or not put the microwave where the oven is and not have an oven and I would be content so we come back into let's take a look at the back oh, here's a refrigerator here I forgot to point that out so a freezer on top fridge on bottom and there's an electronics panel down here below this all right, let's go back into the bathroom here, and I'll show you what I've done here. So first off, to get your privacy, we do have a sliding pocket door here. Just release the latch, and the door just slides shut. And then for transporting, just put this back on. That keeps it locked, like, locked down. And if we come and take a look, we have a toilet sitting here. It's a really low toilet, and that's intentional that it's a low toilet because what I do, since I don't sit on the toilet, I have a padded uh, toilet seat that I double for a shower chair. And so I will take the toilet seat and put over top of this toilet, and then when I am not don't need a toilet, then I take the padded shower chair and I set it here in the shower. So the way I'm taking a shower is this chair would sit into here, then uh, we have our shower controls. I'll sit in the, ch in the shower facing back or facing this way. And the way I transfer into the shower is I put my feet in first. And then I've got a rope here that I put a knot on. And because I get enough upper body strength, if you give me something to hold on to, I can transfer. So I just I grab a hold of this and I just transfer over onto that uh, padded bench. And then I can take a shower. And then we have the, the shower curtain here. So that's the shower, and that is the, the, the padded seat that I would use to put over top of the toilet. For the bathroom sink, I had the cut out here so I could roll into it easily. And then I've got your regular medicine cabinet. And as we come into the bedroom, I have uh, a TV here in the upper corner. And here what I did was I had them put a strong brace on the top so that I could use this triangle for two purposes. One, when I'm in bed and I want to roll or flip, it's easy. This helps me quite a bit, but mainly when I want to transfer onto the bed. So I'll transfer my, my feet up there first, then I'll just grab this with my upper arm or with my arm strength and just pull myself up on and be onto the chair or be onto the bed and then leave the chair sitting here right beside the bed. And then if we take a look over here, let me stop that from swinging. This is, would be my main wardrobe hit the buttons to open them up and then there we can see there's the main wardrobe for hanging clothes and then you have more up top and then if you take a look around the the bedroom you have a lot of cabinet space across the bedroom and another wardrobe here I think that is the majority of what I wanted to show you in this RV and if you have any questions or comments, post them below.